Hi there YouTube and welcome to Tech Cravers. What you see in this exclusive material is the new and upcoming Ryzen 6800U handheld coming from the Chinese One Netbook sub-brand AOK Zoe. And according to the manufacturer, AOK stands for perfection while Zoe stands for sports life. I'm not quite sure how well that translated into English, but I guess you could say that these handhelds let you enjoy a sporty life on foot while bringing your games with you. And as you all probably know by now, the PC handheld market have exploded in popularity thanks to the success of the Steam Deck which I have a lot of content on on my channel, so make sure to check that out if you're interested. But what about this new competitor in the market? It's supposed to be dropped for pre-purchases later in July, and even if that's quite soon and their webpage seems a little short on information, this is all the information they've released so far, so we have to believe in that. The AOK Zoe is then expected to be released later in 2022. The handheld will ship with Windows 11, but you will be able to run Steam OS or basically any other x86 operating systems as well. This is a PC after all. Although we're looking at renders right now, I must say that I'm overall happy with the design they've taken on here, with the big screen on the front and the Xbox styled controller layout. What I don't really like from the picture sent to me is the D-pad design and the weak stand on the back, which resembles the stand from the first gen switches that many had problems with. I'm super keen on testing this device for myself for both AAA gaming and emulation and I really hope that I can get a device sent here as soon as possible. As for the hard facts, this handheld is running on AMD Ryzen 7 6800U processor with Radeon 680 graphics. It will be shipped with 16GB of LPDDR5 RAM for the base model, but this can be upgraded to 32GB. I'm not quite sure how much that will mean for performance on this device though, the Steam Deck has 16GB which seems more than enough for a device like this. It has RGB lights coming out of the grips as you saw in the beginning of this video and a gorgeous 8 inch 1920 by 1200 IPS screen. The screen has 283 pixels per inch and 380 nits of brightness which is slightly lower than the 400 nits on the Steam Deck. The screen is also rated at 100% sRGB. It has a 48 watt hour battery compared to the 40 watt hour on Steam Deck and I must say that the battery on Steam Deck is for me at least a bit short on juice so the slight upgrade here is appreciated. The device will charge from 0 to 100% in just one and a half hour using a 100 watt charger. It will be housing a PCIe M.2 2280 SSD, but no information has been given about the sizes yet. But since it's using that standard 2280 SSD, you will probably be able to swap this yourself if you know what you're doing. It has Bluetooth 5.0, Wi-Fi 6 and a micro SD card slot built in. As for dimensions, it's about the same size as the Steam Deck. However, it's supposed to be more than half the thickness of the Steam Deck at only 21mm compared to Steam Deck's 49mm. But I'm having a hard time understanding how that's possible just by looking at these renders. Now, I obviously don't have this in hand yet, but the company did send me their own gameplay footage for me to share, and here they are playing Forza Horizon 5, which is known to be running well on these types of Ryzen devices. As you can see, it's running here on low quality settings at 1280 by 800 resolution, and the TDP is set at 15 watts. And if you ask me, even though it's low settings, the game looks amazing on these small screens. And here they have bumped it up to high quality settings but still set the TDP to 15 watts and the frame rates goes from around 80 FPS to somewhere around 50 to 60 FPS. So it's obviously gonna affect the frame rates but in my opinion it still looks great. In this footage they've set the TDP to 28 watts instead and the performance takes a real jump. At low settings at 1280 by 800 resolution the FPS will now stay around 110 FPS and at high quality it will stay well above 70 fps. I have one last setting to show you and that is a maxed out high quality settings at 1920 by 1200 resolution and the same 28 watt TDP. And as far as I can tell it looks to be stable at 45 to 50 fps most of the time and it looks really playable. Now this is of course the company's own footage and I'm looking forward to get my own unit here so I can test and really understand how well it performs. Now, I know all of you want to know how much this device is going to cost, but that's something that AOK Zoe haven't shared with me yet. But just as ETA Prime pointed out in his video, it's most definitely going to cost more than a maxed out Steam Deck today, so probably around 900 to 1000 US dollars. However, this might actually be available to grab pretty soon, unlike the Steam Deck if you haven't ordered it already, so it might be an awesome alternative to that. However, that's something I will have to get back to once I get my hands on this device myself. And that's been it for this little sneak peek of the new and upcoming PC handheld AOK Zoe. 
I will leave a link to their site in the description if you want to read more or sign up for their newsletter. If you like this video, please let me know by dropping a like, or even better, tell me what you want to see tested on this device when it releases. If you want more content about these types of devices, check out my channel and consider subscribing to support me. Thanks for watching.